Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm here with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning August 2nd through August 8th in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Planner using this kit that was the June 2021 mystery from Caress Press. I believe she gave it the name Coco Cabana and then I also incorporated a rose gold foil bundle also from Caress Press to go along with the kit. If you guys follow me on my planner Instagram at Laura Marie Plans, then you probably saw that I was debating which foil to use with this kit. Um, this kit reminds me a lot of last week's kit, the Tranquil Summer Kit is what I'll call it. Um, and I use silver for that and a lot of you guys told me to use silver this week, but I really did not want to use silver back to back because I feel like the vibes would have been literally the exact same. So. I used rose gold because I thought the pink would stand out and I love rose gold and I love like emphasizing that pink. I will say I love how it turned out because I did use the Crest Press Foil Bundle and a lot of Scribble Prints Co. Foil and their foil leans more pink but the some of the scripts and foil that I did pull in leans more coppery so if I could do it again I probably would have nixed the coppery um, scripts and icons and stuff that I did pull in and just use black because black was a color in this kit anyway. So I do feel like the coppery kind of gives it a different vibe, but I like the pink rose gold with this kit because it emphasizes that pink in the kit. And I do think it turned out really well. I had some people message me on Instagram that they went ahead and bought like a rose gold foil bundle or they're now planning on using rose gold with this kit um, this year because they liked how this turned out. So that made me feel better because I didn't get many people telling me to use rose gold, but I do like how it turned out. Um, again, just wouldn't bring in like the coppery rose gold. And I do prefer the more pink rose gold that Caress Press and Scribble Prints Co. does. So I just have to keep that in mind in the future. It's sometimes like annoying that there's so many different rose golds because I feel like they're, they honestly look like different foil colors. Like to me, some of the shop's rose golds lean more coppery, which I think is like the more standard rose gold. Um, but yeah, I do like the more pink rose gold. So yeah, anyways, this is just a rose gold talk, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so I do like how this turned out. I did use like a bougie bundle, which was nice. And I did put an extender on Saturday and Sunday because I did have a busier day those days. This week was pretty chill. I did go to the City Open, which is a huge to tennis tournament in Washington, D.C. Um, we were able to get tickets because my fiance works for the company that owns it, basically. And so he was helping out some of the days there, but he was also able to score me a ticket. And it was a really big deal because um, the like arguably best tennis player ever was playing in the tournament and with COVID restrictions and everything, the tickets were impossible to come by this year and we were able to go and it was just a really big deal. So that was super fun. Um, but yeah, I will get into that on Thursday when I talk about Thursday. I am using this Simply Golded Go, simply golded simply gilded rose gold washi and it does also lean more pink which I enjoy so I did go ahead and use that and I do feel like it kind of pulled in that pink a little more with the spread using the rose gold foil bundle from caress press made the base so much easier this week I do definitely prefer the foil bundles but uh, they're kind of expensive and also I still have so much other stuff in my collection that I need to just pull from so I still try and pull when I can but sometimes using these foil bundles is just way easier but anyways I did want to just let you guys know um no one commented this or anything but just when I do my day by day I feel super robotic um and I I don't know if it's kind of like in my head now or what because I've noticed a lot of other people don't really say where all their stickers are from um, unless it's like 
you know, like a super cute sticker or something. Um, so I think moving forward, I am just going to tell you guys my plans, talk about my plans, talk a little bit more about my plans. And if you guys have a question about where a specific sticker is from, you guys can totally comment down below and I will get back to you. But I feel like for the most part, you guys know where most of my stickers are from because it's I, I tend to use the same shops week to week. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys will prefer that if there's like a huge outcry and you guys don't prefer that or whatever. Um, I will go back to the old way of planning. But I do feel like lately I just have felt so robotic when talking. And um, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't Feel like you guys really care because I know people have told me like it's my video I can do what I want but I'm going to try it this way at least for this plan with me and um, I mean I'm not expecting my views to change or anything but you guys can let me know what you prefer down below uh, and yeah so I just wanted to quickly mention that because if you guys do want to know where the stickers are from just comment down below and I promise I will get back to you but yeah so I am going ahead and putting down all these overlays oh my gosh the rose gold looks so good on top of the black especially it honestly I'd say the black and green it looks really good the like tanner color and the pink aren't as noticeable but especially the black and green it looks so good so yeah I'm just finishing this base I love how the caress press foil bundles come with the whole reinforcers because I use those in every spread otherwise my pages rip and yeah so I am going to get into what I did on the sidebar I also put a quote on the girl box on Sunday um, it says loved you then what does it say loved you then love you still always have always will and I got this as a freebie from scribble prints co um Sunday the 8th was our one year engaged so I felt like putting something in to mark that um, and I felt like that quote was really applicable because we've been together since we were 15 so yeah and then on the sidebar I honestly haven't filled out the other box but on the first big box I just put that it was the city open this week so going into the day by day I first off on Monday went to work and then my client threw up on some of my materials they were still sick the parents didn't cancel like they're supposed to and the client was coughing so hard that they threw up on my stuff it was only a little but it was still really gross and made me literally feel sick for the whole rest of the week so yeah not a great start to my monday um and then after i worked all day i did get groceries with my fiance and then we got starbucks and then i did cook this night literally could not tell you what i probably just helped my fiance cook um i'm not much of a chef i really don't like cooking i love cleaning but i don't like cooking and my fiance is amazing at cooking so i much prefer him to cook for us um and then i did facetime my mom because my parents puppy mochi was coming over the next day so we were just like talking about the game plan and then I did um pull some stickers when I pull stickers I've been using this script that says play with stickers um but usually every week I pull my stickers at the beginning of the week and then I plan sometime during the week and film that and then edit it and get it uploaded by the next week so that's kind of been like my routine so I will usually pull stickers at the beginning of the week and so I did that this day and then we did watch the Olympics we watched basketball because uh we were super into the USA team winning and you guys will see we watched the gold medal match later in the week so yeah we did watch Olympic basketball I think I think um the men's the u.s men's team played spain this day so yeah the men the what whoever they played the u.s team won and then they advanced to the gold medal match later in the week on tuesday um mochi did come over my dad dropped her off because my parents were going on a week-long trip to maine slash acadia which was really nice for them um so we watched mochi for a whole week it was like the best week of my whole life um so i marked that she came over and then oh my gosh so there have been like bugs there have always been bugs around where so i 
sleep and then I have my bed and then there's a nightstand next to it and then my dog's water bowls are next to that and then it's like her canopy bed. She has literally a canopy bed. It's really bougie, but basically there were so many bugs living under the canopy bed and it happened in our last apartment too because there's also water, so it's like a perfect habitat for them to live in, but we didn't realize there's a problem in this apartment, so it was just so gross. We're pretty sure they were German cockroaches, which is even grosser in my opinion. So yeah, we had a bug infestation. We ended up being able to get it under control on our own, but pest control came on Friday. I didn't mark that because it was just like a quick appointment, but it was so gross. So we did have a bug infestation. I did go to work. I got Starbucks after work, and then I took the dogs to the dog park, which is always fun. And then I did edit. Uh, we got Red Robin for dinner this night because my fiance had to run to Home Depot to get um, bug stuff, to get roach motels, basically. Um, so the Home Depot he went to was right near Red Robin, and I was like, yo, I want a salad. So he got me the crispy chicken tender salad. It honestly hasn't been as good lately, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not as into it. Um, and then I did watch Love Island that night. Moving on to Wednesday, I went to work again, got Starbucks after work, and then um, we did go to the dog park again, and then I did FaceTime my mom because she was missing her dog, <laughs> and then we did watch Big Brother live, and then I am assuming I watched Love Island live. I honestly have no idea. I usually don't watch Love Island live. I've said this before, but my fiance and I watch Big Brother together, but he can't commit to Love Island. Love Island is actually over now in real time. It ended this past week. Um, but yeah, and then I just played with Maisie and Mochi some a little bit and then we watched more Olympics. I don't know what we watched, but we were watching it. I'm pretty sure this was the last week of the Olympics. I don't know. I kind of like fell off the Olympic train <laughs> um, and kind of lost track of what was happening. But uh, yeah, so we watched the Olympics. Moving on to Thursday, I did get food delivery. I have no idea what I got. I think maybe Meza, which is like Mediterranean food but I have no idea. And then I did take Mochi on a long walk this day. Um, and then I did meet my fiance at the City Open, which like I said earlier, was a huge tennis tournament in Washington, DC. Um, and it was a really big deal to get tickets this year. I felt so bad because I was hoping to get my dad tickets, but they were impossible to get even as my fiance Jake working for the company, they were impossible to get. Um, so I didn't get him tickets and I was going to give him my ticket for this Thursday, but he had left for Maine. So I went and it was a blast. Like I had a great time, but I felt bad my dad couldn't go, but I recorded lots. Um, and it was super fun. It was almost like a festival, like so much food, so much drinks, just really, really fun. Um, and then I did mark that we did go to the lounge um, for a while. We were just drinking and well, I wasn't drinking, but everyone else was drinking. We did have like free drinks and free food because we knew the bartender and we knew like everyone working there. So that was nice because everything there was super expensive because it was like all rich people there. Um, but yeah, so we did go to the lounge and then I did mark that I saw Rafa Nadell, which is crazy because I've watched him my whole life and he's probably the biggest tennis player I know. Um, like if I know him as a tennis player, then like he's a pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, he actually lost that night to the underdog and was out of the tournament, which was crazy. He only played the day before and Thursday, so Wednesday and Thursday. So we were so lucky to see him because if we had tickets for another day, we wouldn't have. So it was just really, really fun. And we had friends there. Um, a lot of Jake's friends are in media and stuff. So we actually met up with a lot of people there and it was just super, super fun. And then I was so tired after this day. It was so hot out and we were out all day. So I marked that I was tired AF. And then we did get McDonald's after because to be frank, the food that we did get there for cheap was like, like for free basically wasn't very good. And um, we didn't feel like buying food there. We were just like very busy and distracted. So we got McDonald's after. 
on Friday, I did sleep in because I was so tired. And then I did get Starbucks. And then we went to the dog park again. And then I did cook tacos this night. I love cooking tacos. They are so good. And then I did watch 90 Day Fiance. And then we did watch the men's basketball Olympic gold medal match. And spoiler alert, the USA team won, which was so exciting. Um, I don't, I think they've literally won like every year for the past, I don't know how many years. So it was like a big deal because they lost, I think, to France on like their first game. And so people were like freaking out. But then they ended up winning the gold medal and it was all good. So that was fun to watch. And then I was in my feelings this night. Could not tell you what about, but I was moving on to Saturday. I did sleep in and then I was not feeling well this week again just not feeling well for the last half of the week after probably seeing my client throw up I'm like phobic to throw up so yeah it just didn't sit well with me for the rest of the week um, and then I did take mochi on a walk I did have some chipotle delivered um, and then I did do laundry my fiance was actually working like all weekend this week he was not home at all so I literally just hung out with the dogs and did my own thing um but yeah so I did some laundry and then I did give Mochi a bath I think yeah I think it was raining this day and she got so dirty on her walk which I'm not used to because Maisie has always actively avoided puddles she does not like to get wet she hates baths and Mochi is the exact opposite despite them Mochi is half Shih Tzu and half Bichon Maisie is full Shih Tzu so like despite them being almost the same breed they have the complete opposite personalities um so anyways, Mochi got so dirty on her walk and I was like, what the heck? So I gave her a bath. She needed one anyway because she gets one weekly at my parents' house. So she got a little bath um, from me and then I did do some planning and then I watched some TV. Uh, I don't know what I watched, but I, yeah, I don't know what I watched. Probably like Love Island and just like catching up on my crappy reality tv shows um and then i did get food delivery this day um we got some pizza i think i I've, I've been liking i don't know i feel like i've been seeing a lot of commercials for toppers pizza which is super random and i had never heard of it before but jake told me it was good and i really like their like cheesy cheese sticks basically i like i don't like pizza i don't I don't love pizza, especially when it has a lot of red sauce. I don't like red sauce, tomato sauce at all. And so if I get pizza, I'll order it with light sauce um, and then well done. So it's like extra crispy, but the cheese sticks are a great solution because there's no red sauce and it's just like super cheesy and good. So I always get cheese sticks from like Papa John's or wherever. And I've been loving that. So yeah, and then I did have time with Maisie and Mochi and then Jake finally came home this day and we cuddled. Um, moving on to Sunday, I did mark that it was our one year engaged, which was literally crazy because I feel like the past year has just flown by and our wedding in May is just getting closer and closer and it just like doesn't feel like it's here yet, but it kind of is in a way. Um, and then my best friend actually had her white coat ceremony. She started med school actually at the school I just graduated from, which is funny. Um, she started med school and her white coat ceremony was the day before this, but on Saturday, but I couldn't go because I wasn't feeling well. And, you know, it was like a med school ceremony, so I definitely did not want to infect. Um, so I visited her on Sunday and just gave her flowers and a card and all that. And I was super proud of her. So um, I did mark that with a Grin and Barrett sticker and holding flowers. And then I put like a stethoscope icon from Scribble Prince Co. on top because she had like a pink stethoscope and was really proud of it and stuff and I thought it was super cute to mark it like that but then I got farm bird and then I was at my fiance's office uh with mochi I brought mochi to like my friend lives in DC my fiance's office is in DC so I just did like a DC trip basically and brought mochi and she went in Jake's office and everyone thought she was so cute it was so funny 
After that, I came home and did some laundry, and then I was craving Starbucks this day. Since this day, August 8th, there has been a shortage, at least in my area, of like refreshers. There's been a shortage in general from Starbucks of a lot of items, but the refreshers hits close to home, and I have been scavenging for pink drinks and it's been impossible to find this day i ended up getting a mango dragon fruit with lemonade refresher which is so good but it doesn't hit the spot the way a pink drink does for me so yeah i marked that i was craving starbucks it's been hard you guys like i cannot find pink drink anywhere and they sell out of it super fast i don't know what's going on but uh yeah it's been it's been hard on me <laughs> and then I did edit and then I did hang with my brother-in-law John he came over for a little bit um and then my fiance came home from work and we all hung out um and then I did just have some quality time with my fiance so I marked that and then Jake did get me insomnia cookies this day delivered because I don't know why I was like I want dessert or something um so he got me insomnia cookies and I haven't had insomnia cookies I'm pretty sure since college which was forever ago it feels like now um because where we went to college like right off of our campus there was an insomnia cookies and it was open till 3 a.m so it was like the hot commodity back in the day it was also brand new I don't know when insomnia cookies started but it like it was a novelty for a lot of us so I used to have it all the time in college but yeah it was super nostalgic and then oh my gosh I had the worst oak my itches I don't know if you guys can see in this video but in previous videos I know you can see it I had an oak mite bite on my hand but basically oak mites are these things eating like the cicada shells or something in the area and where I live in Virginia they are everywhere and they are microscopic you can't see them but they give you the worst bites ever they are so itchy they get so swollen it is miserable and I had so many this day and I was so itchy so anyways I had to mark that but that concludes this plan with me. I went ahead and put in the mini deco and just I filled it out as I went. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Let me know how you guys think of this new like voiceover style of me not saying where every sticker is from. Follow me on my per on my planner Instagram at Laura Murray Plans. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.